Hello, I'm Dave Doyle, and welcome to GeoLearn, Fundamentals of Geodesy, and this particular session is on coordinate systems. Now, in sessions previous to this, I've explained the development of classical horizontal datums and contemporary horizontal datums, or geometric datums, now that we have three dimensions. I've talked about the North American datum of 1983, the older North American datum of 1927, the multitude of older horizontal datums. Uh, and the ITRF, and I've talked about coordinates, latitude and longitude, and Earth-centered, Earth-fixed. Now I'd like to bring them all together in a session looking at how these coordinate systems relate to one another, uh, and how they evolve, and sometimes how they are often, I shouldn't say misused, that's not necessarily the case, but how they are sometimes misidentified. And so I think it's important to pay attention you know, to exactly what we're trying to express. Now, one of the things that becomes often so confusing, and I've heard this multiple, multiple times in my career, uh, almost 40 years with the National Geodetic Survey, is users not truly understanding the information that they have. They may understand that they have latitude and longitude, or even state plane or UTM coordinates, but understanding the datum, is it NAD 83 or NAD 27, NAVD 88 or NGVD 29, WGS 84, ITRF, et cetera. Uh, I've actually had users call or email me and say, Dave, I have some data in NA, uh, NGVD 29, which is a vertical datum, National Geodetic Vertical Datum of 1929, and I need to get it to NAD 83, which is a purely horizontal datum. And you're like, well, you can't do this. They're not related. You know, so it's really vitally important that we understand the datums we're working in, whether they're horizontal, geometric, or vertical, and the coordinate systems, that is, how we express that. And as the image here expresses, it can be kind of a, almost a, a, a bit of a nightmare trying to figure out where you're going and what you've got. So hopefully this course today will give you some greater insight in, into what this is about. Let's start off with the fundamental coordinate system in geodesy and the fundamental coordinate system using the global positioning system or other GNSS. We continuously hear, may hear from many folks, oh, I have state plane or UTM coordinates in, from GPS. Well, you, you do and you don't. Uh, GPS, GNSS does not give you state plane. That's a manifestation, a computation out of the fundamental coordinate, which is an Earth-centered, Earth-fixed, or ECEF coordinate. And let's take a couple of minutes to describe what ECEF really is. So for the moment, let's imagine that we're standing at Earth geocenter because of course the satellites orbit about Earth geocenter, Earth mass center. That's the origin of our coordinates. That's where all of our coordinates equal zero, x, y, and z. So we have a three-dimensional coordinate system that is defined as zero. It's zero point at Earth geocenter, x, y, and z. Now of course I can now take this three-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system, much like we may have learned in high school geometry, and I can rotate it any way I want to. I can spin this in any direction. Obviously, we don't want to do that. We want to have a standardization for these coordinates. And that, in part, is one of the fundamental aspects of organizations like the International Earth Rotation and Reference System Service, the IERS that I described in a previous class. 